Okay, what's happening now? We've got this breaking news. The second one has been killed. Second Palestinian protester has been killed. There's an increase, uh, 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 a significant increase in the number of the, of the protesters among those Palestinian youngsters. This come after uh, a call from all the Palestinian uh, factions of uh, of right of anger. Now, the medical. Uh, 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 the health ministry spokesman said that at least two Palestinians have been killed and more than 40 injuries along the borders between Gaza and Israel. The, the first one who was killed, he, his name is Zakaria al kafarna He was 24 years old. He got a bullet directly uh, to his chest in the north of the Gaza Strip. The second one who has been killed, we didn't know his identity yet because it was just before uh, minutes ago. Maybe you can see behind me where I'm standing uh, a white, like a white fog uh, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the area. This white fog is, is, is a tear gas bomb which has been fired uh, uh, intensively from the Israeli soldiers among those uh, protesters. This area which I'm, which I'm standing on is, is Nahal Oz, is a, uh, it's considered a, one of the hottest spots in the Gaza Strip, uh, which is uh, uh, maybe attracting more, more Palestinian protest protesters, uh, uh, refusing the, the, Trump's, uh, uh, the, the Trump's administration uh, procedure against Jerusalem. So we are witnessing here a day of anger in the, among the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. So two Palestinians have been killed. And, okay, maybe you can hear now. Live round bullets, live round bullets have been fired now uh, from the Israeli soldiers to those Palestinians who are totally peaceful uh, uh, demonstrators. They are only holding the Palestinian flags and they, they're trying to just reach the borderline between Gaza and Israel without, without doing anything, just to show they're angry among, among their capital and among uh, their city, Jerusalem. So you, you mentioned that it's a, a Friday of anger and the Palestinian leaders have called on, on people to take to the streets after Friday prayers as, we, as we've had um, through ever since um, Donald Trump said that he wanted to move the Jerusalem embassy said, when he said he wanted to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. In, in terms of the turnout, um, in terms of the, the mood, have you noticed a change? Are there, are there bigger crowds? You mentioned they're peaceful, peacefully protesting today. Yes, but first of all, the, the Palestinian factions have, have praised yesterday's the UN resolution, which is support the Palestinians, as they say, but they said also uh, uh, that they call the Palestinian masses to uh, make this Friday, especially after the Friday prayers, as a, Friday, or as a day of anger. We've witnessed a call from the Islamic resistance movement Hamas and the Islamic Jihad and the Palestinian uh, liberation front all of these Palestinian factions and all these Palestinian forces have been called on the on day of anger to at least to confront with the Israeli occupation as they say and to show the Israelis that the that Jerusalem is not uh, an, an easy issue for them and it's a matter of death or life as they say and uh, as I told you we've witnessed uh, more than 40 injuries hundreds of suffocation from tear gas bombs uh, uh, also uh, bless us as journalists. Many journalists have been suffocated from uh, uh, tear gas bombs, which has been fired in intensively in the third Friday of anger in Pal uh, among Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. So we are wi we are waiting for also maybe it will be uh, uh, there will be an escalation uh, uh, in the in these borders, and those youngsters will not. Uh, uh, leave this area until maybe uh, a, a, long, a, a long time until they show the Israelis as they told us that Jerusalem is, is not an easy cause or not an easy issue.